I'm Lee Rocker, and you're watching Life Minute TV. Gather Round is uh, my newest album, and uh, I recorded it and, and wrote it in 2020 during the pandemic, mainly. So there's, you know, and uh, it really came about, uh, I hadn't planned on doing a record, but I don't think anyone's planned on what 2020 was gonna be. <laughs> um, and after being in lockdown, like all of us, and having to put up with that, I got an idea, I'm so used to being on the road, I've toured for 40 years, that uh, I found it really tough to be in one place. Uh, my wife and I have an Airstream, and we got in it and crossed the country, and drove and drove, and it, it kind of made things feel normal for me, uh, being so used to touring. It was everything except the concert. <laughs> I'd go from place to place, I have a guitar with me, and uh, most of this album I wrote while on that six-week road trip. This is the first uh, record of original new material that I've done in a lot of years. Recorded it in a different way where I was in a studio in Santa Ana, California, behind the glass. The engineer was on the other side of the control room. And uh, my guys sent in their parts remotely from their home studios. So it, it was a slower process but it was what we needed to do to really stay safe and, and get creative with it. And, and it led to a record that I think uh, is more focused, or maybe the most focused record I've ever done, because everything, I was on headphones, a mask, uh, and uh, mixed the record on headphones as well, because I didn't want to get in the control room with, with other people. So it was sort of like working under a microscope. So every note, every drum beat, uh, I, is there for a reason and I'm aware of it as opposed to some rock and roll records where you just get the band in a room, you let it rip and you see what you get. Now it, it's two different ways to get to the same place though. I'm doing a really interesting thing that we haven't announced yet. It's a collaboration with a well-known contemporary ballet company called Complexions and they're doing a modern ballet to music off of this record. Previously they would worked with uh, Lenny Kravitz and they had done some David Bowie and that's going to be happening uh, this year. My dad uh, was the solo clarinet with the New York Philharmonic for 61 years and my mom was a professor of music at Hofstra University. The one rule we had growing up in the house was that you uh, pick an instrument and you take lessons and you read and write music and I, after a couple of old things, I mean, I was about seven years old, I started playing cello. At around 13, uh, fell in love with rock and roll, really, and transitioned from cello to the electric bass. And then, really, the music that followed for me was early rock and roll, known as rockabilly. And, it, and it's the upright bass is the engine that moves that music. And it was a, it was a good transition. Cello's got four strings, four strings here just kind of hold it a different way. There are some real differences. I would say the main one, though, really is, is how physical an upright bass is. That it's, you know, it, it's bigger than I am. <laughs> and and it, it's become sort of a, a part of me, really, in a way. So it's, a, it's a really physical thing. Your legs are on it, your hands. It's, it's a, to me, it's different, and I'll play an electric bass sometimes when, when I feel like a song calls for it, but this is really what I do. You know, I mean, it's affected all of us, of course. I mean, I haven't been on a stage in, uh, in a year. That's the longest I've probably been off stage since I'm 13 years old. Uh, I, I'm an optimist. I mean, I think things are coming back. Um, and it, it does seem that way. So I'm hoping the, the second half of this year, we've got concerts booked, and I'm uh, looking forward to getting out and doing them. The Stray Cats is where I started as a kid. We grew up together out on Long Island, New York. And, uh, and every so often we go, let's, let's do something, you know, but we're, we're always in touch. I've been fortunate to work with, especially guitar players, some of the greatest guitar players ever. Uh, George Harrison was, I, I love 
playing music with him. And then some of the, the guys who really invented rock and roll, people who, if there was a, a Mount Rushmore rock and roll, they would be on it. Carl Perkins wrote Blue Suede Shoes. He was really the architect of rock and roll, along with Elvis Presley and Johnny Cash and Jerry Lee Lewis. But uh, Carl and I became really, really good friends, and I played a lot of music with him. We did tours. I played on his last record called Go Cat Go. And, uh, and uh, man, we even, uh, we even did the soundtrack to Porky's Revenge. <laughs> I've got concerts uh, booked starting in September, and they've been rescheduling the, the, the year that, the, the lost year, you know? So hopefully that'll happen, and, uh, and some Europe dates as well, and we'll, we'll see about those.